So the used car market uh, in India is a very at a very interesting cusp. It's been growing uh, rapidly over the last few years. It's been growing at around 12% when you compare it to new cars, which has been growing around 4% at best. So it's been a phenomenal growth for used cars. And even if you look at the ratio of new to used cars, uh, you know, it's very different in India versus the West. In the West, uh, the ratio of used to new is around 3 to 1. So for every new car, there are three used cars. But for India, the ratio is around 1 is to 1.2. So that means that even though we've had 12% growth, we'll continue to grow over the next few years. And also, this has been aided in a major way by players like classified players like us because, you know, we have brought the digitization into this whole space in terms of discoverability. If you were to kind of imagine buying a used car, um, you know, around three years or five years back when you did not have these digital, digital platforms which were deeply penetrated, it was a very different experience. You wanted to buy, say, a Corolla 2012, you had to visit five markets to figure it out. Now, you, through the comfort of your home, at your place, you can just kind of search things, you can put filters, whatever you want, and you can discover the car that you really kind of aspire for. And also collaboration during cars is very important because it's a very aspirational purchase. So people want to talk to their family, people want to talk to their spouse and then make this decision. This has been made very easy because uh, uh, doing it on your phone versus you know doing it physically when you're going to dealer's outlet or going to congregated markets uh, was very, very archaic or you know prehistoric. In used cars, in the whole digital space, a lot is changing. Uh, so if you look at the West and my, maybe you know that's an inspiration for most, country, most players which are working in the space. But, uh, transparency is becoming a big thing. So people, when they are transacting, they want to know everything about the asset before they make the decision. So when I say transparency, what do I mean? I mean that, uh, you know, when they, when somebody is buying a used car, he's buying it once in two years, once in three years. This is not a purchase which happens every year. So people want to figure out whether the bank for the bucket they're getting or not. So they want to figure out whether the pricing is accurate or not. So pricing, uh, pricing suggestions, whether it's a good deal, bad deal, or a okay deal is something that people are looking for. People are also looking for suggestions in terms of the, the person that they're buying the car from or the dealer they are buying the car from what is the background of that guy you know has he been rated really well just like other rating scenarios like you know TripAdvisor and all the other platform people want to know whether the dealer who's selling the car is a good dealer or a bad dealer so these are some of the trends which are emerging other than you know artificial intelligence and blockchain and all the other things which are happening here as well which I'm sure other people have spoken about. So I think OLX plays a very pivotal role in this whole space because um, you know OLX is the leader in the market right now in terms of used cars. We get crazy amount of inventory on an everyday basis, thousands of cars being posted everyday basis by consumers as well as by dealers alike. So it's loved by both. Uh, what that essentially means is that the supply majorly rests with us. And when the supply is with us, you know, boys want to be where the cars are. So most of the buy side uh, metrics are also very, very strong. So the journey for us is to make sure that we are very, very customer centric. So uh, we, we want to listen to our customers, whether it's our buyers or sellers, figure out what their needs are in terms of, you know, making the experience very smooth. Um, we are working on something which is called convenient transaction, making so that people are able to transact their goods easily. Uh, there are no barriers or there are no hindrances when they are making that purchase. So there's a lot that is happening on that, on how technology can make the process much more smoother and seamless.